All right, this video is to show you some things in Google Maps, specifically as they relate to the Google Level 2 certification test. So when you first go to Google Maps, it'll probably look like this, a map. I'm not sure what location you might see, depending, depending on if you have location services turned on, it might be your location. If you want the map to go to your location in the bottom right, there's this little compass looking button. It, uh, if you click on that, it'll take you to your location. If it says that Google can't go to your location, it's not allowed, you may have to enable that on your computer. Um, sometimes you'll find it up here in the URL bar. You can click on this little button will show that the site can access your location. You may be able to set the permissions there. You might have to go into your computer settings to do it. So just keep that in mind. So here I am again in, um, in the map view. We'll start by searching for a place. And for the moment, I'm gonna search for a stadium that I know is nearby, one of the local college stadiums. So I can type in the name of a place. I can also type in an address and it'll show that spot. So here's the stadium. Let's say I want directions to the stadium. I'm gonna click on directions. And by default, it's going from my location. You could also type where you want the directions to go from and it'll show me those directions. Um, obviously I have a couple different options depending on what route I wanna take. If I want to share this map with someone and share these directions with somebody, all I have to do is go to the three line menu in the upper left, click there, scroll down to share or embed map. And this is going to give me a link that I could share to someone to have those directions. I also have the option to embed the map into a website, which is pretty cool. So that is an option as well. Let's go out of here. I'm going to get rid of my directions, I think, and just zoom in a bit on this location. On the bottom left, a couple other things to notice. Um, so again, this is what we consider map view, right? You can see the streets, you can see lakes, important things like that, um, specific locations, but we can also change this view to a satellite view. So now it's still, you can still see the street names, you can still see location names, but we have more of a satellite image of what we're looking at. From this square, there are several other layers that we can add. Um, for example, we can add traffic. So now it's showing which areas have some slow traffic. We can add transit. So it's going to show public transportation, um, bike friendly areas. And this one's really cool, the terrain view turn off bike. Um, so if you look here, especially you can see it there, it's showing that that butte, that mountain, if I click and turn it off, it goes away. So the terrain view is just kind of a fun, fun way to look at things. Um, so that's going to be getting down here from your satellite or right your map view, and then you can click on those additional layers. Another great feature of Google Maps is what they call street view. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more um, on this stadium. And to access Street View, I'm looking down here in the bottom right for this little orange guy. They call him Pegman. So if I click on Pegman and I drag him onto the map, suddenly everything turns blue. Not everything, a lot of things turn blue. I can now drop Pegman on any of these blue lines and it's going to take me to the street. So it's showing me what it would look like if I was standing on the street in that spot. And I can move my map. I just simply click the mouse. It'll take me other places. I can turn, right? So I can really get a view of what it looks like on the street, which is such a cool thing. I'm going to go back out here, zoom in just a little bit more and grab Pegman one more time. I can even put him in the stadium. <laughs> So in this particular stadium, I can put Pegman on the field and we can see what it looks like. So I'm picturing, you know, marching band directors being able to show your students the inside of the football stadium, this telling them this is how we're going to enter. This is where we'll exit. Now, obviously, not every stadium in the country is going to have a street view in it, but some of the larger ones might. And it could be a really nice feature. Um, I've also used street view just to find if I'm going to a new location where's the best parking going to be? Where am I going to go if I need to do this? How am I going to get there? Are there sidewalks? You know, you can really use it to your advantage to see an area that you don't know. So especially if you're a director who travels with students or just has to go new places often, Street View can be a really, a really great tool.